Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going, buddy? Good. Why do you, oh, why are you like winding up? Why are you ready? so loud? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, what is your voice right <laughs> I now? I don't know. You sound like a sexy morning voice. Thank you. Well, it's the afternoon. This morning, do you ever do like in the mornings when you wake up, you see like what is going to be like the first thing you say and how you say it? What the fuck? I don't, you don't, even, know, I don't even know what you just said. You don't do that? Say it again. So, like, when I wake up in the mornings, I often, like, I, I go as long as I can without talking to see, like, what is going to be my first word today? Do you really do that? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Like, sometimes I can't when, like, Miles runs in the room and it's just like, oh, good morning. But, like, sometimes when, when he's with his dad. You you want to have a cool word? And, like, not just a cool word, but, like. You just want to be, like, like two in the afternoon and be, like, rambunctious. No. That would be good. <laughs> That's a good word. Yeah. No, but, like, for instance, my first word today was. This I is say, sick, by the way. This is sick. Why is this sick? This is sick behavior. I take meaning in... I, I take uh, umbrage and uh, meaning in the words that I say, Whoa. Joey. I'm not just fucking spitting out verbal diarrhea like you, you what sick you, fuck. What are you, a, mo- a monk? No, but... What is this? But uh, that would be a good idea. Do For that. you to become a monk? No. Yo, like, can monks fly? That's a serious question. Like, with... In a plane? In a, No, like, in a, like, as a... Like, I real. feel like they could float. Oh, I don't know, but there are ones that, like, figured out, like, how to, like, just, like, be peaceful. Right. Well, <laughs> no, nah, yo, monks are interesting because they shave their heads. Yep. I don't know if that's right. They, do they shave their balls? Well, I think. Yeah. Well, no. They have eyebrows, don't they? I, th- I don't know. What's the whole point? I think it's just be silent, be still, and, like, treat animals well. And live in a mountain. And live in like Those a, are like the three things, like a monastery. A monastery, that's you what it is. You need to live in a monastery. Yeah, that's I've, what it is. Have you ever met? I was going to say mausoleum, different thing. Yeah, big, you die in one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You live when you're dead in those. Right. Have you ever met a monk? Well, no, because I live in New York City. Oh, they might be around, you never know. Well, have you Do you remember those, one? I don't know, maybe, you remember those people that would be like, they would be in like Manhattan, like protesting like kids in cages and shit, and they were always in like, kind of like monk-like garb? No. You never saw that? No, I thought you were just talking about, like, liberals. No. Oh, no. <laughs> like, no, like I keep kids out of cages, you know? Yeah. That's, that's something we could all get behind. We all, we all like that. Unless they're misbehaving. Then uh, put them in a cage. Right in it. Right in. Right in the sun. But, like, the people that are, like, they're, it's like some sort of, like, Chinese political movement where it's like, you know, like, this is going on. Don't do this. And they're like cages. Yes, and they're like people in cages to like show like as a as some sort of a fucking. Oh, they put themselves demonstration. in cages. Demonstration. Yes. Oh. Do you remember that? No. You don't remember this? They're all over the place. I, I, dude, I've never seen a person in a cage. Really? Oh, I've seen people in cages. I've never. I don't know if I've ever seen a person in a cage in real life. Yeah, we did when we filmed Keith too. Well, that's a fake cage. Oh, Keith three. That well, was Keith I've been three. inside of a dog cage as well. Well, that's a kennel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about a cage. Like, I wonder all these vegans that are so like, listen, don't eat meat. Where do you draw the line? What do they think about putting their animals in cages? What do you mean? Like, if they're like, where do you draw the line? Will you eat a dog? It's like, first of all, maybe. Second of all, also, I have a, I have a conspiracy that I made up. Let's hear, let's hear it. <laughs> Are you allowed to do that? You yeah, absolutely. That's what a conspiracy is. Exactly. Right? So I, I most I, of them, by the way. Made up, just well, like yours. Well, I, this is just a theory, I guess. We'll call it a theory with, about vegans, right? Because oh. vegans have, like, this thing. Not that I have any problem with vegans. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, do your thing. Yeah, yeah. I love your cheese. I honestly do Really? Love, You're they, a big vegan cheese boy? I, I try to, like, substitute my cheeses as much as I can. Uh, I've never had it. Yeah. Oh, I have had vegan cheese, but it, it's all sucked. Go well, on. The cheddar is good. I, I've tried. We're going to move on. Uh, but I have a conspiracy about the vegans. Mm. I, I think, you know, because, like... There's a conspiracy behind like, okay, you don't have meat, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But here's what I think. I think maybe it's a possibility nation that <laughs> it's a possibility nation that uh, the powers that be that are the vegan, you know, overlords, overlords yeah. you know, who are lizards, uh, they... They're not lizards. They're plants, Joey. Well, plants eat lizards. No, lizards eat plants. We're going to move forward. Uh, <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Don't I stop. Get, I can't get this out one shot. Okay. I'm just going to start from the beginning. Okay. We're going to start from the top. Right from the top. I have a theory Mm -hmm. about the vegan overlords, you know, powers that be, Mm -hmm. that they uh, want to kill the poor. And and how they're going to do that Mm -hmm. is to push this agenda of like, we need to be healthier. We need to have organic and whatever. And what happens when they do that? You ever go to Whole Foods? 
you get a, you know, almond butter is like eight hundred dollars. Mm. Okay, so mm. poor people can't afford that. Well, yeah. you know, so a lot of people can all they can't afford is fast food. Fast food, by the way, you might as well eat a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. The only reason why you don't eat a pack of cigarettes is because those are expensive. Those are pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah, can't feed a family of four with a single stick. <laughs> yeah, no shot. So, uh, you know, they they make the food so expensive so that poor people can't afford the healthy food, mm. so that the poor dies out, and then we have a healthy, rich population. I think the irony that like some of the people that I know that are such like proud vegans are also such proud liberals that are trying to fight right. you know, for like the elitists of this nation gotta go fuck themselves. And it's like, listen, you're paying $300 for yeah. a slice of bread. Yeah. <laughs> It's Ezekiel bread and it's yeah, made from listen, seeds. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about your sprout bread, okay? <laughs> you know, but it, it is funny because like I, we were having this conversation not long ago. Is uh, it, it? It really is like it's mad expensive. It's fucking expensive. Yeah, dude. to eat healthy is it's hard. It's not cheap. It's not. It's not only hard because we all have a sugar addiction because they, you know they're putting steroids in the chickens. Literally, I've watched steroid be just inje- injected into chickens. In a documentary, not like in the supermarket. I was going to say, where were you seeing this? No, no, no. They, they literally just like, they put a fucking needle in a chicken and they just pump it full of God knows who. But then you need it. It's not even just the steroids. You need to then work out and stay active. Like what are these chickens doing? Like push-ups and shit? You think I know if it's steroids or not? It's a syringe going into a thing and it gets bigger. It's steroids mm, to me. That could be just like collagen, like lip implants. Maybe they just do that to like the chicken breasts. They're probably also. Chickens are getting tit jobs, boob jobs. Free of, Wow. That's what it is. is. That's, That's what, what it is. is. Think about it. Think about it. Think We're about it. Think about it. Now, I got a conspiracy. Think about it right here. So you go into a supermarket, and what is the first thing that is the most physically appealing and you need to touch? It is the packets of chicken breasts. Why? Because they look like what boob implants look like. So you go over. You slap them. You slap them. Everyone slaps the raw meat. I slap raw meat. Everyone slaps the raw meat. And so what the, the, the current state of chicken breasts in this nation are basically just boob jobs by plastic surgeon farmers. So the chicken that we're eating is all just, just like fake. So you had me in the beginning and then you lost your oh, so, way. I did. You a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. No, listen to what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So like. Who's running the world? I just want to know that. Who's burning it down? Uh, all of us. Well, no, like plastic surgeons? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the, the, all of the lizard overlords are plastic surgeons. In well, their spare time. Well, of course. They have to... They have to look, they have to lo- look last a, long. Look a certain way. They have to last long. You know? So, I mean, have you ever heard of a plastic surgeon dying? No. Exactly. I don't think any... Yeah. No. It never. Don't. You've never heard. You ever and like, they all don't look like they're gonna die. Yeah. They all continuously, like in their 70s, look like they're in their 20s. Because what they do is the blood that they take from the plastic surgery, they drink. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a conspiracy too. That, I know. They drink in kid blood. Hillary Clinton's like slamming bl- child blood. Well, she might be. Dude, that would take a lot for me. You ever like, like get a cut and you... Put it to your mouth. It's not good. It's metal. Blood's gross. It's all full on metal. I don't know if I could drink the blood. Like, don't get me wrong. I would love to be in a position where I'd be invited to a meeting where we're gonna drink a bunch of blood and, and like live forever. I would love to be in that, and I would fully. I just want to. I just want to be on record right now. If I had the chance mm-hmm. to be in these like Freemason meetings, and we're all gonna like you know drink blood from children or yep. something, I'd have that blood. Yeah, just because I, you know, you want to live forever, and I'm selfish. You want to, you want to live forever. You want to see everyone around you die. No, I don't want to see that. But well, like, then there you go. That's what's gonna happen. Well, but I also, I feel like I would have FOMO. I don't want to miss out on whatever's gonna. That's come. fair enough. That's you fair. You know what I mean? I so appreciate I put that. The, yeah, put, put the blood in. People me, with you know? extreme FOMO are the ones that are drinking the blood yeah, yeah, of children. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that you know, obviously, and I, I would, honestly, I would say this. Like, obviously, like I'll, you know, I'll drink blood from a child, but I won't, I won't, uh, I won't put them in a cage because that's that's messed up. That's where because that's it, because it taints the blood. Not because really. it stretches the blood out, just like these cage-free eggs. Exactly. You know, Becca says it all the time. She's like, I feel the difference between regular eggs and and cage-free eggs. Wait, did she say that? Yes. Oh, can I just say something? <laughs> Idiot. I hate her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she says it all the time. <laughs> Idiot. She says, but she that's said she it. feels the difference in the eggs. She t- she says she tastes the difference in the eggs. Okay, yeah. I, she doesn't. I know. Okay, I know. But I will say this too. But there is like such things as like these cows that are in Japan that are getting treated like they're going to like pedicures and stuff. That's some good meat. That wagyu beef. That shit is high end. Baby. Wait, they 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 paint their nails. They like they do it all. They give them like <laughs> calf days. rubs. Calf you know, rubs? like they're like cleaning them with like brushes and stuff. You know what I never understood? This idea of being like, oh, it's cage free. So I feel better about it. It's like, yeah, you're killing a fucking animal. Like, yeah, anyway. I, I, I was, I watched, um, Super Size Me 2. Did you watch it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Super Size Me 2 is all about the chicken industry. It was made like two, three years ago. And they, they're fucked up. 
Well, he goes over that, and basically it's like this whole thing where it's like free-range chickens, yay! Mm -hmm. It's like free-range chickens is putting them in this room and putting a cage a foot away from that door. Yeah. That's technically free-range or some right. shit like that. Yeah, like they're not out on like a big farm yeah. in Wisconsin. What do you like think they're doing? Up. Just like going on a fucking chicken Ferris wheel? Yeah, they're no. sun tanning. No, and, and they're still getting popped the same way every other chicken's getting popped. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's fucked up. And I, I honestly, when I watch those things, I'm like, yo, I'm not eating. A lot of those chickens die from like they have like heart attacks and anxiety attacks. Well, dude, they also put chickens like in a tiny cage, and like there's like 40 of them in there. It's honestly terrible, and like we're joking around, but it's honestly terrible. Yeah, but. Oh, it's good, it's good old chick. It's good old chick, man. Just, you know, I'm, it's, I'm too far gone. I will, I will be one of those people where they're like, "Oh, you're like, where, where, where are you gonna draw the line?" Like, listen, I understand it's a fucked up industry, but Charles Darwin, people liked him. <laughs> if survival of the fittest, if a chicken grew up and was able to eat me, that chicken he would. Also, that's another. That's Why do we not get upset about fucking alligators attacking people? Children. Again, you you fucking idiot! Put an alligator in a cage, honestly, yeah. because those are eating children, and the cages aren't eating children. I've had alligator jerky. Have you had it? Uh, no, I haven't. It's very like it's stringy, or it's like it's like a you know grainy, what I mean? Grainy, grainy. You yeah. have to chomp. Like you have to. That's making me uncomfortable. Well, so, but like that's the thing. These hypocrites. They don't get upset. They get upset when we kill a fucking chicken and eat it. Mm -hmm. But they won't get upset when we get eaten by uh, an alligator. Because they're like, the alligator's supposed to do that. Well, so are we. Well, I think that it's people are... Uh, here's the thing, right? I think people are okay with you eating meat as long as you go out and you hunt it like Joe Rogan or some shit. Oh, like if you work... Elk? If you work for it. Yeah, I think he does. I think he eats anything he kills. Yeah, but you have to. You and that's another. So thing. then, where do we draw the line there? You vegans and you pieces of shit. Like if I kill Joey right now and I eat him, is that okay? Because I killed him. No, that's that's Hannibal. Hannibal. That's a what's cannibal. A, cannibal. <laughs> Close. Hannibal was a cannibal. That was a movie. Um, but yeah, no, so uh, you have to kill it with like uh, you know a, a hunting knife. Or so something. like rocks. So if I you go can out beat there, it with a rock. So if I go out there and beat a dog with a rock and then eat it, it's cool. In China. All right. And oh. that's not racist because they do eat dogs. They've openly expressed that they believe that they right. are uh, delicacy. Yeah. But, all right, in the U.S., I go outside. You can't kill a dog. I go outside, and I fucking bash a pigeon with a rock. Is it cool? Like, is it like, oh, it's like the way we've been doing it for a million years. Um, It's definitely not cool. I, I think that some people would be like, keep an eye on that guy, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think you get a lot of more eyes on you. Yeah, that makes sense. Which you don't want. Well, but Depends you know, on what I'm looking to do. That's true. But if you're beating up pigeons, I think you... I would say this, too. I've watched a lot of murder docs, and a lot of those kids used to, like, hit... Yeah, they're full-on beating up, like, cats. Birds. Well, yeah, they burn cats, and they hit birds with, like... Uh, what's that thing? Like a slingshot? Yeah. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, where... Did, do slingshots still exist? Um... Mm. I, I knew someone that I had a wrist rocket, and guns. those things were fucking terrifying, dude. Those things can do damage. Hell yeah. It was like the ones that like you put your hand in, and it like braced right here. Yeah. And then you fucking bang. Why? Why? It's a dangerous Because that was like a cool toy for kids in like the 60s when they had nothing else to do with their time. Well, now it's like, it's. I mean, I'd rather have a wrist rocket than people have like guns. Yeah. Well, the kids that had wrist rockets growing up now have all the guns. Right, yeah. Not all of them. Most of them. Well, I don't know that. I would say. <laughs> I can confidently, you well, know, make now that. that. Now that we've been on both sides of the animal argument, I don't really know what people are going to think of our opinion. And I got to be honest. I don't even know where we are right now. I don't know what my opinion on it even is. Yeah. I, I'm like, like, I'm all for like being vegan and being vegetarian. Like all jokes aside, like I try to substitute as many things as I can. Mm -hmm. Uh, into my diet like I do I have I eat a lot of plant-based shit for the most part uh, but I just think it's funny when people uh, have a very strong opinion about something and it's like there's hypocrisy on both sides here like yeah you're not supposed to like you know this is like a table full of like little chicks and like there's a grinder and you're like all right yeah you know what I mean like it's that's bad you know go, what I mean go 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fucked up <laughs> we're laughing because we're uncomfortable yeah um <laughs> But also, if we're going to put all this stuff that's super healthy and can save the world and like, especially there's been a lot of talk of, uh, you know, vegan foods and like being organic and more healthy as a population just in general. And that would avoid, that would prevent, uh, you know, a pandemic or these diseases, diseases spreading like that because everyone have a better immune system, all this shit. 
it would be a lot easier to get there if bread wasn't four hundred dollars. Yeah, That's all I'm say. I mean the the whole fucking it, everything about this world is a piece of shit and a lie. Let's just make sure we start. Yeah, there. like McDonald's is a dollar because it's made out of cigarettes. Yes, <laughs> you know what I mean. Exactly. That's basically what it is. You're eating. Oh, chicken nuggets are delicious. Guess what yeah. you're eating? Toenail clippings. Yeah, dude, a, that's not a McChicken. Yeah, that's a, that's a Toyota. Yeah, that's a Corolla. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you're not eating food. It's not. It's a Toyota Corolla. You but ever, then when they hear touch that ever, a bun from McDonald's, they're fucking. I don't know what they are. It feels like a like a fake mushroom. Like it's like a it's, hard. It, it's it's weird. It is weird. But oh, it's so good. It's good. It's so good. I mean, it's jam packed sugar it in there. It's so good. Yeah. Sugar and just fucking filth. Sodium, dude. Oh, it's so good. But fuck it. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Don't. Like put your penis. Yeah, in. don't put your penis <laughs> yeah. in a McDonald's thing. We're talking about like. I mean, maybe the McFlurries. Those things are. Oh, dude, I'm fucking destroy a McFlurry. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going knuckle deep in a McFlurry. That's for sure. Hell yeah, I have. Not. I didn't put my penis in. Oh. I've been. I've like. Oh, you fingered it. Well. To get like a don't, sh- like a like an M M&M and M out, I didn't like finger it for sex. Oh, you know it comes with a spoon, right? Yeah, I don't understand those spoons with the McFlurries, by the way. What the fuck is That's that? That's what they used to twist them. But, like, what the fuck is the spoon for the McFlurry? Why is there, like, a hole in it? Why is it, like, Because that's what they put into the thing to twist, to, to mix it. What? <laughs> How did, what? So, so, okay, say this is the McFlurry machine, okay? Mm-hmm. You fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll use this one. The prop one. Say this is the McFlurry machine, okay? And I have a cup of McFlurry here. This is this is like poking out here, like a little wing wang. Okay. Okay. And then I put this is this this is the spoon. <laughs> I'm lacking my props. Yeah. This is the spoon. They push it into it, and like the hole on the spoon goes into the wing wang, and that's what they use to oh to mix to the, mix it. That's okay. what I fucking said. Okay, but why would they do that with the spoon? Why don't they just have a mechanism that mixes all of them? Because then you gotta clean it. Lazy. It's smart. It's lazy. It's Pro- lazy. Productivity, dog. They're which, efficient. Which, which McFlurry do you get? An Oreo. Oh, you're an idiot. Why? The M&M's one is good. No, because eating frozen M&M's is like chewing on rocks. Well, they're not frozen. Yes, they are. Yeah, maybe if you go to a fucking run-down McDonald's. Run-down? Yeah, the one I go to has like a lot of like electronic screens. Like It's got they're, money. They have, they've had stepped their game up. Yeah, it's nice. We've got a machine gone, that works. Gone are the days of the bubble screens. You remember those where it was like, you know, like it was like a, a plastic screen and the soda like popped out? Uh, like it was like a pop-up book. Yes, yes, yes. Those were the good old days. It was a good day. Also, have you ever donated to one of those things? The Ronald um, McDonald House. Yeah, yeah. Not a shot. What the fuck is that? I would never. What is a Ronald? Nothing McDonald about house? that looks like it's secure. It's just like a piece of plastic covered by a metal bar. Dude, I've never. I know it's a charity and it's it's good. It is a charity and like we you know we're all about charity on this show. But Ronald McDonald, dude, I wouldn't I wouldn't give that guy a dollar. I've never been more sure that someone's got some skeletons in his closet. Yeah, we're basically donating to that. You're donating to like the House of a Thousand Corpses. You're yeah. just waiting on him to walk out, you know, and just murder everybody. Uh, he's you know he's a. I think they got rid of him too. Ronald McDonald. I haven't seen him. No, he's the f- face of the Donald. I think it's the arches now. I think they got rid of him. Just I those golden arches, huh? When, when have you seen Ronald? I haven't seen Ronald. I haven't seen Ronald in a while either. I have like red shirt. Do you remember how good the fucking McDonald's toys used to be back in the day? Yeah, I used to collect them hard. Dude, I have gotten some of like the old ones like off of like eBay and stuff. They're fucking awesome. Yes, I'm an adult. You went on eBay <laughs> yeah. and paid money for Happy Meal toys. From back in the day. What? You know, I like to collect stuff. Just do me a favor. I know I asked for a raise. I'm going to. Don't give me one. Well, I, well no. <laughs> you're gonna. I don't know what you're gonna do next. Don't give me one. I bought old cigarette. No, butts. but like I bought like they had like remember like happy like you used to get like collectible glass cups. Like you remember those the fucking the the McDonald's um, Batman Forever cups. No. You don't remember these? I have. They were glass. Yeah, I have two of them. They were handing out glass. Yes. <laughs> you don't. You really don't. Doesn't remember that these. sound crazy now? It sounds crazy, but like. They were fucking awesome. Um, Handing out glass to people who would show up to a McDonald's, dude. You don't. You really don't remember these? No. Wow. I have two of them, and I want to get the full set. Oh, there you go. It's right there. It's right there. Oh. Oh, I do remember these. They don't make them like that anymore. Those are kind of cool. They're kind of fire. 
And then, like, I have, like, the Dude, old... Dude, yeah. Oh, with the... Oh. Yeah. You remember that with the question mark <laughs> handle? Yes. Oh, these are tight. That's what I'm saying. Those are cool. Those are cool. Yeah, oh, like now. Oh, oh, now. Well, I thought you were talking about buying a little, like, fucking Pikachu or some shit. Well, I... You know what I'm saying? A little, I, a little beagle board. I may have. What did I just say? Beagle board. <laughs> I, uh, I'm also buying these. Um, If you remember these. You probably is this don't. from McDonald's too? This is from Burger King. Like they don't make them like they used to anymore, dog. Wow, I do remember these for Pokemon the first movie, the gold cards. I know it's expensive. <laughs> these are one hundred and fifty dollars for a complete set, though, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a complete set. You're buying one hundred fifty dollars. You got Pikachu. You got Poliwhirl. There's a Charizard here. You got a Charizard and Jigglypuff. And no, 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 no. That's a Mewtwo. Cause there's a Mewtwo one. In now we're talking about some money. I here. think there was a couple more. There was only four in that Poly picture. Polyworld, Mewtwo. Who is this? Jigglypuff. Oh, Jigglypuff. I think Togepi's in there. No, no, no. Togepi. I think Togepi was in there. Yeah, no, that's a Charizard. No, dog. but there's also a Togepi one. Yeah, I do remember these, but... That's what I'm saying. Like, they don't make that shit like that anymore. Now you get a fucking, like, basically, like, shampoo bottle toy. Yeah, and then also you get... Diadoodle. Oh, yeah, you get a couple <laughs> of Diadoodles. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. The good old days. I would love a snack wrap right now, though. I'm not even going to lie to you. No. What's your go-to? Like, if you're just going to ruin your day, what is your go-to fast food order? Where are you going? What are you getting? If I All right. I'm going to give you three fast food uh, spots, and then you tell me what you're getting. Okay? Okay. okay. Uh, we know what you're getting eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leaking butt. <laughs> Black tar butt stuff. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Me meconium or whatever it was. Mecononium. Mecononium from oh, the whatever. Patreon episode that you can check out now at Basement Yard. <laughs> Patreon. Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. We crushed it. Guess what? We did the one chip challenge. And by we, I mean me. And by did, <laughs> I mean cried through it. Yeah. Guys, go to Patreon. Check it out. We get an extra episode every single week. At 8,000 patrons, I'm going to give myself an enema. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we're at 7,200s <laughs> right now. So... We're 800 away from me just spraying something in this ace. In the ace. And, and we're climbing up the rankings of the rank, the, the best Patreons. Yes, yes. So, so. I, I'm going to check again next week to see where we're at. But we were at 28 last week. So we'll see where we are. Uh, all right. So I'm going to give you three. I don't know. I'm going to give you four. I'm going to give you a couple <laughs> fast food spots. Go. And you tell me your order. All right? Go. It's easy. McDonald's. What okay? What am I trying to do? Are you trying to like? I'm really trying to ruin myself. You're trying to ruin your whole week. Okay, so if I go to McDonald's, I'm trying to ruin my day. Yes. I'm gonna get two McChickens, a snack wrap. I'm gonna get a large fry. No, no, no. I'm gonna get two. No, no, no. I'm not gonna get a snack wrap. Holy shit. I'm gonna get two McChickens. I'm gonna get a large fry. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get like the biggest size vanilla shake they could possibly do, and then I'm gonna dip the fries into the shake after I finish both snack wraps in record time. That first of all, that fry in the shake thing. Terrifying. Fuck you all the way. Oh, it's good. It's baby. disgusting all the no, way. No, 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 no. Fuck Second, that fry. Fuck you. Second, okay? Burger King. Burger King. Uh, it's, I'll be honest with you. I never really ventured into Burger King that Ooh, often. I was a Burger King over McDonald's boy. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? <laughs> Go on. I would probably just get uh, a Big Mac, uh, a large fucking something disgusting like a Dr. Pepper. I don't really have it in me to drink a Mountain Dew because... Because you haven't gotten there yet. Not I haven't that. had sex with any of my siblings yet. Not yet, yeah. So I, I, can't, I can't have that yet. Uh, He's coming one, for you, Keith. One day, Keith. Uh, but yeah, so maybe I'll get a Dr. Pepper, though, because I am, you know, a little bit of white trash. Yeah, but a bit, bit. Um, <laughs> you know they advertise that as a cinnamon soda? What? It's cinnamon. not cinnamon. It's it is it is pavement. Yeah. That's the flavor. Pavement soda. <laughs> it is soda. asphalt. Yeah. Um, it's good, though. It is. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. And then probably, don't they have like a, what, the chicken fries? Or yeah, chicken fries. Fuck, fuck up chicken fries. Fuck you. Right yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, Taco Bell. Oh, well, they got rid of it, but I would get the Doritos Los Tacos. Oh, yes. I would get... <laughs> to get a little Dorito Taco, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yo quiero. I would get two uh, Cool Ranch ones. Oh. Then I would get two Soft Tacos. Oh. And then Taco I would... Supremes with the sour cream? No, I would get two just two Soft Tacos, like the small ones. All right, so no sour cream. Or whatever it comes with, I don't know. Go on. And then uh, I would get... Um, also, sometimes, I, talking about this makes me sweat, by the way. <laughs> uh, I would also get a, a quesadilla. What is well, wrong why, with me? Why? Why would you do all of that? Because, it, what is it, not enough food, Joe? <laughs> Literally, I would eat that. It's, it's on Northern Boulevard. And by the time I got home, I had to shit. You, I'm not even kidding. Not even having to shit, you would be fucking, like, it would be a water park in your asshole. I would do a trick, though. So here's, yeah. the, here's the trick, right? 
because this is when I lived at home and like I didn't have an apartment building where I had to get an elevator come up open my door and stuff I just had a door I had to get through my bathroom it's yep. right there yep so I I would eat in my car so that my my intestines were a little folded you know what oh, I'm saying? so when you stood up, they just like when I stood up, it was just, like, "Yo, yeah, like go fucking, time, bitch!" Yeah, like the the doors opening in Lord yeah. of the Rings, the two towers. Like, exactly. I get what you're saying. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, the, yeah. the doors of Hogwarts and the kids marched in. It's different movie, but close enough. I know. Yep. Both magic. Okay, that's a good. One. All right, Popeyes. Oh, I would get a five piece spicy uh, chicken. Oh yeah, extra biscuit. Uh, fuck the biscuit <laughs> up. What's yeah. your side? Um. Honestly, it really depends. Um, sometimes I get like the Cajun fries, mm. or sometimes sometimes I get that mashed potatoes. Those mashed potatoes are fire. You know what I, mean? I got the I got the mac and cheese last time I had it. Not that good. Not that good. I've had that once before, and I was like, "This is kind of like it's just it's just macaroni and just no flavored cheese." It honestly just tastes like macaroni, but it actually the and whole soup. thing. I feel like I'm eating the container it's coming in. You Basically, know what I mean? Like yeah, I feel so. like I'm eating styrofoam. Okay, or all some right, shit. good for you. Are there any other? I, you know what I haven't had in a long, long time? Wendy's? White Castle. One time I walked into a White Castle with $5 and walked out stuffed. <laughs> Swear to God. And like, I'm not, you know, I wasn't born in 1970 or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was recent history. Recent. Walked in with $5, left fully satisfied. <laughs> insane. Insane. Dude, dude, you, I kid you not, I remember I went uh, to a fucking, uh, after I saw Transformers Age of Extinction, uh, it was a, a Rise of the Fall. One of the Transformers movies, I went at like 1 a.m. to a White Castle, and I kid you not, by 3 a.m., my body, like there was fucking grease coming out of my pores. Yeah, you had hives. It was uh, hives. Yeah. I had high, I'm leaving your asshole right now. That's what I had. <laughs> it was fucking <laughs> disgusting, but so good. Yo, White Castle's fucking crazy, dude. You know how fucking disgusting dude. you have to be to be like, yo, all of our burgers are 18 cents. And by the way, we'll just pack them into a cardboard a, suitcase, a, a suitcase. <laughs> for you to take like you're going on a business trip. Dude, the fact that they're like, yo, we don't give a fuck about how we get it to you. We're just going to put it in a suitcase and slide it across like it's a drug deal. Dude, a suitcase? Oh. They're selling suitcases filled with hamburgers oh. and we bought them. And we did. Yeah. They were good. It's insane. And, and the regular, not the, not the chicken once. Oh, remember the chicken rings they had? Did you ever chicken have those? Chicken rings. Daddy. Daddy's home. I'm very good. Dad, open up. I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, your ass. Oh, God almighty. Oh, God. Those fucking... It's so good, but it's so bad for you. Oh. Full transparency. We had other things to talk about. Don't... Out the window Just now. gone Fuck now. That. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> dude, I... <laughs> Do you consider like I haven't you, had fast food in so long. What were you gonna say? Uh, I I I had it a couple. I I haven't had it in 2021. My goal is to go the whole calendar year without getting fast food. I've literally gone like maybe three years without having. Really? It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's see, it's different for me because Miles, you know, like we drive. He, yeah. he loves that shit, and you know, there are some nights where Becca's exhausted. I get home from work, and it's like let's just pick something up quick, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it's also significantly cheaper than fucking ordering. Yeah. Um. Do you consider like Five Guys and Chipotle and uh, fast food? Dude, Five Guys <laughs> it's, is hilarious. It's so good. You ever look at a Five Guys? Like at least McDonald's like, yeah, we know they're serving us fucking poison. They're like, yo, we make shit. Watch us. Yeah, but like. And you're still going to eat it. And not only that, but like you can like when you look at a McDonald's burger, you're like, okay, at least this is like neat. You go to Five Guys, yeah. and it looks like the most... It looks like a burger that someone made with, like, at a thousand, like... Go, go, go ahead. I'm going to back up. Go I'm ahead. Back up. Go, ahead. Back up. go ahead. Call when Josh. You, when you, you, need, go to, you need the help? <laughs> Just cut this out. I'm going to redo that. <laughs> when you go to Five Guys, right? <laughs> now, you go to McDonald's. You go to McDonald's, the burgers are neat. They look nice. But when you go to Five Guys, it just looks like someone made it like with this, <laughs> with this amount of strength. Just like... Here! <laughs> Dude, the burger's like mashed and soaking wet. And, and the, with that fucking look on their face too. They're just like... Yeah. You're gonna love the oak cheese? All the cooks... All the cooks at Five Guys like just got cheated on or divorced. Like they have a lot of shit going on in their personal life, and they're making the shit out of those burgers. And then they they try to dress it up by wrapping it in tin foil, and they fucking Randy Johnson launched this burger into a paper bag that is just covered in oil. 
and there's fucking fries <laughs> everywhere. Dude, you open a bag from Five Guys, there's fries like Dude. in the brown paper bag and then somehow and in the plastic, the plastic bag. <laughs> they take, they throw, they fucking launch this burger into this bag. They put a cup in and then they just go... <laughs> And they're launching fries at this fucking... They're not even, like, trying to get it in the bag. They're just throwing it in its direction. It's an angry place, it's, but, yo, their burgers are fire. So good, dude. Yeah. I don't know what those d 4 says are doing, uh, like, behind there, but that shit is good. Dude, they are crushing it. And they are pissed the oh. whole time. Oh, dude. The best food is so made with anger. together, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Oh, it's so good. It's <laughs> so good. Oh, Have you ever had one of their hot dogs? Like, they sell hot dogs. They <laughs> sell hot dogs. How do you fast food a fast food? <laughs> what happened? You fucking... <laughs> <laughs> he fucking... <laughs> he knocked the cord out. Oh, We're Jesus. Gonna... If I did Josh, that, that would have been... Josh, Josh, Josh. Okay. If, uh, give me the phone real quick. Yeah, Just give me the phone. Yeah, yeah, you got him. Josh, clip that so when uh, I fire him, he's... I got reason. You killed that. <laughs> <laughs> I have reason. No, yo, I... Uh... Yo, Five Guys is such a piece of shit, but it's so good. It's so good. I love Five Guys. It's so fucking good. I haven't had Five Guys. Oh, yo, also Shake Shack. It's like, yo, we're going to do the same thing, but in a cooler store. But, uh, yeah, they're like, we try to be a little fancier with crinkle cut fries. Yeah, I was like, I was, they don't call it shakes. They call it oh, frozen custard. What the fuck what is it? you? Same, custard. fucking clue. I don't want this shit. Go <laughs> kill me in the fucking library, the annex, you geek. I don't want this shit in a cup. <laughs> Bro, it's not custard. It's a shake. It's a shake. Idiot. What's a, cu a custard? What is, is custard? Just, I think custard is just like cream. It's cummy mustard. It's you know, all, I ruined that. Fuck, for you. you did. <laughs> you did. It's like cream that is like under intense stress. I think like behind the like in Shake Shack, they're just screaming at cream, and they're just <laughs> you're fucking you're worthless. The cow that you came from, they they they're dead. Is it not a shake? It's yeah. So why I think the difference is like uh, like flan is like a custard. Oh, yeah, how it's like creamy, you know? By the way, flan <laughs> doesn't really look cool. Oh, it's great, though. No, it's good, but like, we need to make this better. Uh, yeah, first of all, give me something bigger. Like, why am I getting <laughs> something that's still served in a fucking Dixie cup? Yeah. <laughs> it's 2021. Figure it out. Like, these people are like, oh, I'm, I'm, can I have the flan? Yeah, and it comes on a fucking triangle plate, like this big. I want to talk about food real quick. Yeah. And I know you're going to, like, be upset by this. Because it's going to be racist? No. <laughs> no, I was going to say, the idea of a blooming onion. Dude, it's just absurd. It's so fucking absurd. Here's an onion. You like it? <laughs> you like it? I'm throwing it in oil. I know someone. Here's a whole onion. Dude, I'm going to. I'll have the onion. Dude. What? I, my, my brother-in-law, Adam, is a fucking modern marvel of science. Because this guy, he's like six foot one, like 140 pounds soaking wet. And he, now he eats better, but he ate like, like, like the goop off the street. Nice. He, one year for like a snack, like, or a meal, went and got two blooming onions and ate it. What does that He's alive. Do? He's how, alive somehow. How can that happen? It's, I don't know. Also, he, how could you eat that much? He's a modern marvel of science. He would also, like, yo, for lunch I had like a couple 7-Eleven taquitos and Mountain Dew. And I was like, yo, if my body had that, I kid you not, it would be the capital riot in my fucking gut. <laughs> like, people would be pissed about what happened there. <laughs> Dude, yeah, no, if I, if I had a sip of a Mountain Dew recently, I think, well, I, weren't you there? Wait, why the fuck did I have? A if I was Dew? around when you had a Mountain Dew, I would make it very clear. No, it there was like, oh no, it was it was uh, Marco was here. He was shooting something for uh, for Pepsi, and like, cause Mountain Dew is a Pepsi product. Yeah, I know that. So he had a Mountain Dew, and I was like, dude, I need to take a sip of that <laughs> just to like, no, cause I haven't had it in so long. When I drank this thing, I had horrible nightmares that night. I was gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, was, uh, Dude, it was crazy. I had all types of shit, like uh, people screaming at me in my face I at love, night. I also like. I love how they like try to be like, "Oh, Mountain Dew," but if you want to be cooler, here's Code Red. Yeah, here's Baja Blast. Also, everything Code Red is like 
dangerous. Like, yeah, it's not I think, good. yeah. Like, why are you drinking something that's literally trying to tell you it's like Defcon Eight? Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's like Code Red is like, yo, sound the alarm. Let's get the fuck out. We of have here. a weird of, Americans have like a weird obsession with that. Like things that are hot. Mountain Dew pandemic. Yeah, and you're like this must be good. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck it. I remember when I used to go to Hooters a lot when I was sad. I would get wings, and it was like one of the flavors was like. Atomic Island, like yeah. <laughs> bikini, a bikini atoll. Like have these wings, they're genocide. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Jesus. it's like mild, hot barbecue genocide? And you're like, I don't want that. Yeah, they, seriously, like we like name things that are like <laughs> terrible after fucking awful people and like awful like situations. Yeah, it's where it's like, oh, what flavor do you want? We have we have hot. We have mild, we have uh, 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 white peppercorn, it's a dry rub, and then we have Chernobyl meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Yeah. Uh, you know what? On that note, let's get to these Right to the show, baby. Let's get to these, eh? Okay. I'm sure they all enjoy the Chernobyl jokes. <laughs> if you want to, yeah, guess what? Who, who's the first friend? Uh, the first friend of the show is PETA. Not going to be happy with the beginning. Oh, no, I'm oh. <laughs> oh my God. How do you sponsor as PETA? I, I thought, as PETA I thought you were just going to take out a little thing of paint and throw it at me and be like, PETA, we'll <laughs> fucking ruin your coat. Yeah, I don't think that... Is that yeah. That's what they do. Okay. Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> what are we doing today? This is one of the better episodes. Oh, whoosh. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of funny transition, but first ad we have today, better help. Yeah. <laughs> If you got stuff going on, they need to talk about. Yeah. BetterHelp has online counseling. They uh, connect you with a online counselor. They have uh, physicians or whatever they're called. I honestly don't know right now because I'm losing it. My brain is melting. Uh, but they have people who will talk to you, licensed professionals. Um, you can start communicating just under 48 hours. You can talk uh, through the phone or text or do video chat. Um, their service is available for clients worldwide. Uh, and if you need to switch therapists they make it very easy as well so if you're interested in doing that i know i know that the pandemic and being inside all the time has really taken a toll on people's mental health like in general so if this is something you want to get into go check it out betterhelp.com slash uh yard and you get 10 percent off of your first month that is betterhelp.com slash yard for 10 percent off of your first month spelled b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p um join over the one million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional um, so yeah, go check it out. Betterhelp.com slash yard. 10% off of your first month. Uh, next, we have Harry's. Uh, Harry's Razors. Uh, they, their team combined a simple ergonomic design with five sharp blades. They sourced their steel from Sweden and manufacture their blades in a world-class factory in Germany. Um, but they're great. Uh, you've been using Harry's for years. They've been a sponsor of mine for a very long time. Um, every year, Harry's donates 1% of sales to nonprofits that provide mental health care to men in need. And in 2020, they helped 500,000 guys access services. That is amazing. Um, also, Harry's makes award, uh, award-winning award razors along with a whole range of grooming essentials to keep uh, your like looking help you look your best all right uh razors can be expensive but with harry's you know you're still paying as little as two dollars a cartridge uh so you're you're chilling um yeah but new customers can get harry's starter set for just three dollars at harrys.com slash basement you get a five blade razor weighted handle foaming shave gel with aloe and a travel blade cover um all for just three bucks so you got nothing to lose three dollars no big deal all right harrys.com slash basement uh again you get the starter set three bucks try it out I love Harry's. They do their thing. Some of the best packaging in the world, I would say, too. I will say I've also had like some of the most comfortable shaves in my life with Harry razors. There you go. I honestly, I used to shave <clears throat> with some like dollar brand, like whatever, and it, look at me. I've been paying for it ever since. Um, okay, next we have, uh, lastly here we have Honey. Honey is an online uh, browser extension. Um, it scours the internet for promo codes and applies them directly to your cart. Uh, and you can save money that way. So it does all the work for you. So you're shopping on any site for the most part. Uh, Harry's, Harry's. Honey will, uh, will automatically apply a coupon. Uh, for instance, I've been on you know Nike or something and, and buying shoes and, and uh, Honey will automatically apply a coupon to the thing and I'll save like 15 bucks or something. You know? like, and, and there's a bunch of different ones. Or it could also tell you if you're getting the best price um, on the internet. So if there isn't a coupon that exists for this thing, then at least you know like, you couldn't have saved money on this. This is what you're going to pay. Um, so it's a great. 
it's a great tool. Um, and it has 17 million members and over $2 billion in savings, all right? If you don't already have Honey, I don't know why not. I mean, we're all shopping online right now. Stores are closed. You can buy online for the most part. Safest way to do it. You might as well have Honey. Um, so go check it out. Uh, get it for free. Uh, joinhoney.com slash basement. Again, that is joinhoney.com slash basement to get it for free, all right? You're going to have a free browser extension that's going to save you money. It's a no-brainer, all right? I got it right here on mine. So go get it. Joinhoney.com slash basement. Bang. Pow. I got to admit, Joey, <clears throat> trying to go this whole year without having fast food is going to be real hard after today. Why? Oh, because we're talking about oh, it? It's so good. You never answered my question, though. Like, do you consider places like Chipotle and uh, Five Guys fast food? Do I what? Consider places like Chipotle and Five Guys fast food. I yeah. know by like definition where it's like you get food fast. Like, sure. No, I, th- I think they. I think they are Chipotle though. Oh, you've never had Chipotle because you're afraid of what it will do to your bowels. Isn't that correct? Yeah, I would have it, but I just I haven't. Because at this point, because you're a terrified little boy. Well, I only had like one real opportunity. Well, two opportunities to have it. One of them I wasn't hungry, and the other one we were driving back from your college, and I was like, I'm not about to have Chipotle and then sit in the car. Yeah. Like you crazy. <laughs> Like, I need to be in a place. It's a good like, time. Good old time. Good time. Also, we have a fun little thing we're going to do in the second half of the show. Which is right now. Right now. We have a new president right uh, now. Oh, yeah. New we POTUS. Have, we have we have a, a new boat. New POTI. Uh, so, yeah. Joe Biden's now the president officially. And, uh, you know, we decided that, you know... We need to pick our cabinet. We need to pick our cabinet if we were president. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people saying they would vote for me for, for as, as president... Um, First of all, don't. Don't do that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so we just hypothetically, you know, if we had to pick, you know, our cabinet, who would it be? You know, because I think that I'm good at, you know, uh, spotting talent. We, yo, I would crush you in a debate if we were running for president, me versus yeah, you. Yeah, right. Dude, I would fucking nail you. Dude. What? In a debate? Or like? Yeah, no, in a, in a debate. Oh. I would fu- I would fuck you like up in a debate. Nah, nah. I'd yeah, re- let's I'd, debate something right now. I'll rail you. Let's debate something right now. Your hat is stupid. Debate why it's not. <laughs> no. Cause it's cool. All right, whatever. Nailed it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we we uh picked out certain cat. I mean, yo, the cabinet. By the way, it's long. Let me just say this: presidential like cabinet. What are we talking? What is that? We need to name it something cooler, like the armory. That's a cool one. The presidential armory. Yeah, the cabinet is no kind of like, what is it, the kitchen? No one's going to be like, oh my God, it's so prestigious to be in the president's cabinet. It's like, what are we, the fucking... Yeah, nah, it's going to be stupid. Name it the closet, because a lot of politicians got them. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Whatever, not the cabinet, though, because that's, that's the least... The yeah, that's not cool. I would say, name it the presidential armory, or the presidential... Uh, brigade. The t- Ooh, I like that. The or presidential the, brigade. Or the team. The t- uh, I don't that's know. That's a little too, like, like stupid. <laughs> Squad. Nah. I don't know. But uh, anything but cabinet. So yeah. I, so in these realities, we're presidents and we're picking our own cabinet. Yeah, I have you as my vice president. I have you as my vice president, too. Thank you so much. Just because if I die, if anyone's going to take over my life and family, it's you. Cool. I don't, I don't think that's what the vice president does. But if I die, you're taking it over. Like, all of my expenses and debt and everything. Gotcha. You're named as my beneficiary. You know that, right? Is this real? Yes. I don't think it's real. Uh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes. Wait, what are you talking On about? On my 401k. I am. You're my beneficiary. Cool. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Can I be I was on, like, how random was that? Can I be on yours? No. Ah, <laughs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, yeah. All right, so first we have a Secretary of State. Okay, which we... So, full transparency, we also don't know what these people do. I assume it's like a right-hand man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. It's like a guy who's like a good guy. Someone that you want to see... Or girl. Or girl. Like, someone you want to see yourself with, so it, like, kind of gives you a boost. Yeah, it's like, you know, you know I, he looks good, but he also looks even better because he's got that guy sitting next Exactly, time. exactly. So, yeah. who'd you go with? Harry Potter. Oh, what? <laughs> Why? 
Why do you go with Harry Potter? Dude, I just watched... No one wants to see you next to Daniel Radcliffe. Dude, Harry Potter is like a... He's a very famous, like, yeah. wizard. He's a fictionally famous wizard, and yeah. Daniel Radcliffe looks like you can fucking beat him up. This is where you're... I'm not talking about Daniel Radcliffe. I'm talking about Harry Potter. Oh, the Potter. real Harry Potter. Yeah, dude, I have a wizard oh. in my cabinet. Yeah, that's all right. No, it's not all right. That's not that cool. Dude, he's... A, yeah, but he's short. He's short. He's short. He's a tiny... He's like 5'5". Five, five. Yeah, well, you're not much taller. You're five six. Well... That's a false. No, you're very short. Frankie. Someone on Twitter said I thought Frankie was 5'5", five five and I was so fucking upset. <laughs> Why are you saying I'm 5'6"? Because you're short. I'm 5'10". I don't know. <laughs> and a half. <laughs> no. Okay. No, but I have Harry Potter because, listen, he's seemingly like a nice dude. You look at him, he's like, this guy's a nice guy. He's an innocent guy. But when it comes down to it, when Voldemort comes around, yeah, he's this gonna... guy will fight. This guy will fight, and he and he always wins. Yeah, you know what I mean. And he, and he actually he rallied a whole fucking school full of kids to fight against all these like wizard ghosts. So you just want kids on your side? No, 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 no. Oh no! Don't don't you uh, dare try to spin yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I want I Harry Potter. It. Harry Potter is of age. You want him for the uh, avocadabra or avocadabra or whatever it is. It's not avocadabra. It's a. Uh, av- uh, I don't know because. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anytime he fucking uses it, you can't hear him, and he's I like. Oh, <laughs> so who do you got? I have J Lo. Well, you know, I'm not going to argue that. <laughs> J-Lo's your secretary's state. Secretary's state. Because think about it. Like, I'm walking, and, like, my sex state is, like, right next to me. Oh, I thought you said sex. Sex state. Okay. Is, like, walking next to me. My secretary's state is walking next to me, and is like, that's going to draw eyes on the product. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, that's a power move. People are respecting that state. and Because people are going to watch me come into the presidency, and then they're going to watch us walk away. You Did, know what I'm saying? They're going to wait. They're going to wait. Until we're ready to leave. Yeah. And they're going to be upset that we left. For sure. But I don't know what the Secretary of State does. I, like I said, I think it's just to give us a boost. I think they just kind of sit around and state stuff. And All this, right. You know. Secretary of the Treasury has to deal with treasure. So I went Jack Sparrow. Oh, that's a good one. Because he... <laughs> if, <laughs> listen, if there's treasure around, right? So Treasury, obviously, like, that's treasure. You know what I mean? I know that there's treasure around in these parts. I've seen National Treasure. Mm-hmm. You know, Nick Cage would have been a good answer. Yeah, I didn't put him. Uh, he would have been a good one, but he would probably steal it. But Jack Sparrow, he is always on the quest for treasure. That he And if there's anyone who knows treasure, it's a pirate. But see, I don't know if he's on the quest for treasure as much as he just kind of stumbles upon it. And like he's a he's a drunk. Let's also be honest. Well, he's you know. a fucking drunk. You throw one fucking, you know, one little nip of rum at him and he just like oblivious forgets. Like that was my Jack Sparrow impression. No, I think that you know he's got his he's got his stuff. You want someone that's gonna go after this treasure with you know with 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 Hutchba, you know? I don't know how to spell that, but it's definitely I got Gollum. Oh, from Lord of the Rings. Damn right, my precious. Damn right, that little motherfucker went to the ends of Mordor to get that son of a bitch ring. That's true. That's That's what I'm saying. Like actually, Frodo would be a better answer because he transported that and he didn't. Frodo got fucked up at every turn. He just walks over and gets stiff armed by an ent. Like he's all fucked. He's got dumb feet. This little fucking gol. Yeah, his feet suck. Suck. But this little golem, like you think, like yo, like we're gonna find the treasure. Who do we need on our side? That was good, right? Whoa. That was good, right? I thought he was in this room. <laughs> it got bad. It I'm got starting bad. to just hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's who I'd put as the Secretary of Treasury. That's not That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. Sec Def. Sec- Secretary of, of... I was going to say of the Def. Secretary <laughs> of Defense. Who do you have? <laughs> Secretary of the Def. Uh, I had uh, The Rock. Okay. That's sending a message. Okay, okay. Like, don't fuck with us. We are the defense. We defend. You know? Yeah. I, I kind of went a similar route. Mm. I have Sylvester Stallone. Yo. Yeah. That's a good way. But not only, not only is he a, a boxing champion, uh, but he also... Oh, well, let's... He's not. Well, he's a boxing champion. No. Yeah, he's a boxing his champion. His character is. Well, he's... He made himself a boxing champion. I was going to say he's also a Rambo. He's fought in many wars. He has fought in a lot of racist wars. Yeah, racist. And have you ever seen Rambo First Blood? It's a little insensitive. Is it? A little bit. Why? Well, just go ahead, go ahead and watch it. I'll let you... I'll let they you, fight? I'll let you determine it for yourself. I haven't seen a Rambo movie in God knows how long. Yeah. All I know is that the newest one... I don't know if it was the newest one, actually. Less blood. He... <laughs> he gets on a 50 cal and really lays into this whole fucking operation. Just like a, just, just like a tent? He's shooting a lot of, like, buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was crushing it. So, like, I would say Sylvester Stallone just because, like, this guy... But, like, guy's... no, he's older, though. Yeah, like, he's no on steroids. No, you'd be afraid of him. He like, doesn't have to fight. He just needs to, like, you, rally he, the people. But he needs to be, like, an intimidating force. Dude, who's not intimidated by Sylvester Stallone? What? 
He's he's old and frail now. He'll he, fuck me up. But you don't think that he could rally and find the people? Like he created the A team. He could rally. First of all, didn't create the A team. <laughs> He was on it, wasn't he? No, I don't think so. Oh, you're, in that movie. You're talking The Expendables. That's the one. That's the one he got. Because <laughs> he had him. He had Jason Stafe. Stafe, I'm is in there. I believe he's in there. Uh, Bradley Cooper. That's the A-team. You're all over the place. I don't know where I am. <laughs> I don't know. You're all over the place. You're talking Liam Neeson. That would have been a good one. Oh. That would have oh. been a good one. That would have been a great If he's one. on the mic and he's just like, all right, I ran. Listen up. I ran. Uh, Damn, uh, Yeah, dude. sorry. I got a little topical there. <laughs> Oops. And I can't do a Liam Neeson impression. But, you know, he's got that gravelly, low voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, I would be more intimidated by The Rock than I'd well, be by yeah, Sly. Well, yeah, yeah, me too. And you'll hear The Rock talk. Can you imagine those press conferences? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We're going to... Uh, <laughs> check his wife. Uh-huh. 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 Mahalo. Uh-huh. My ohana. The, the, the mana in here. I'm... He would... Everything... The White House would have a lot of mana. Oh, my... <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? Okay, Attorney General. Attorney General. I have John Hamm just because I think he looks good in a suit. Ooh, oof. He looks like an attorney. General. He looks like a general of fucking big cocks. Yeah. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I had I had that uh, injury attorney Barnes, just because he's the most popular attorney I can think of. Selena and Barnes. Yeah, Selena's dead. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's just Barnes injury attorney. Eight hundred, eight hundred. Then a bunch of zeros. That's the number. I saw it. I saw it earlier. So Is that it? Of it? Yeah. No, that's not the actual jingle. Free promo. That's not the actual jingle. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're thinking this jingle. He goes, Selena is dead? No, no, no. Not that part. But like the, you yeah, saying, no, no, no. it's I, just Selena or yeah, whatever it but is. But like that guy's everywhere. I mean, think about it. If you yeah. want an attorney, like the general attorney, you want the guy that's the most popular. He's, gen- he's yeah. He didn't die. And he's like full on, like there's billboards of him everywhere. Yeah, he would probably be better than John Hamm because I don't even know if he's ever played like a lawyer in a movie or anything. He played a very misogynistic piece of shit in Mad, Mad Men. Men. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Smoked a lot of cigarettes though. And drank a lot of scotch. And I haven't seen the show. I presume hit a lot of women. Oh yeah, yeah. There was a lot yeah, of stuff yeah, going yeah. on. So yeah. wow, lot, wow, Joe. Weird. You want someone in there that's gonna be hitting women? Well, some time has passed. Since then, so I hope that... Yikes, you know. Joey. <laughs> Secretary of the Interior. Don't know what this is. Oh, I didn't even fill that out. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh, I went with the Queer Eye guys. I feel like if... Oh, they're great. Do you Have you seen the most recent, like... You're thinking interior design. Design. It's probably of, like, not that. I know. It's probably something like the interior structure of something the nation. Something important. Yeah, but I don't care. We don't know that either. And I don't care about it. Queer Eye guys did a good job. They fucking do. That That was pulling at my heartstrings, that show. Yeah. Also... I watched like two episodes and I was like, God damn. Also, Ty Pennington. Which, Ma- one, which he, one is that? He does Extreme Makeover. Uh, home Edition. Oh, no. Fuck. Keep his frosted tips in fucking 2008. <laughs> I don't want him back. Move that bus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine? He's Move like, that wall. Oh. <laughs> You got Brand it. new country. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. No, but I think the the interior would be good. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's got to be something more important than that. Obviously. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Secretary of Labor. Okay. Yeah. Obviously. I mean. Yeah. We both probably put the same thing. Bob the Builder. Oh, I went Kate Goslin. Who the fuck is that? She was the John and Kate plus eight. She had a lot of kids. There's a lot of labor to go through. Have all those kids. <laughs> She has kids. She has ten, eight kids. I got eight kids. I got eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, she I put... would just crush it and pull, put her hair. She hold on. This is my Kate Goslin impression. <laughs> I've got eight. <laughs> Kate Goslin, come on the show. Psych, don't fucking come yeah, on our don't, show. Don't, don't, please, God, no. Send your DJ loser ex husband. Jesus, it's a little harsh. <laughs> It's insane. This guy's uh, just a fucking failing DJ in Philly. Uh, yeah, but I put Bob the Builder because the guy, is his name's Bob. It's an easy name to pronounce. He builds. He knows labor. <laughs> Anyone pretty, knows. That's pretty simple. If you watch the show, which I didn't, uh, I think he got every job done. I think, it, I think it, you know, he would often face things where they would say, Bob the Builder, can we fix it? And say, then he would rally the troops and they'd say, Bob the Builder, yes, we can. Yes. Pretty, uh, pretty easy. Uh, but Kate Gosselin, that's an easy one. I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Secretary of Agriculture? Yeah. Me? Oh, me first. Yeah, yeah. I said um, in those commercials, those guys that are always standing in those fields of cranberries and water. 
Because the doing, Welch's guys. They're doing something right. Those guys are legit farmers. They're doing something right. They're rock stars. I didn't know this. That's how they get cranberries. That's how they harvest cranberries. In water. They they fill it with water, and the ones that float are ready. That's tight. I didn't know this. No, I didn't know that either. So I'm like, Becca was like, oh, have you never seen the cranberry fields in Jersey? I was like, no. And she's like, yeah, but when they fill it with water, it's beautiful. It's like a sea of red. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. that's like real? I thought it was just cool for the commercials. Wow. Interesting. You yeah, but... Learn something new every day. They're doing something right, man. Yeah. Because those fields are a-popping. Yeah. I put any vegan girl from Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Okay. Because I feel like they're always growing shit in their house. And and they have hugged a couple trees in their well, life. Yeah, of course. I mean, they love everything. They and gotta they, be very in touch with nature and agriculture. Yeah, and, the, and like, you know, they, they, they wake up, they do yoga, they They like, have to know the lyrics to... to what, is, what is it? The song from Pocahontas? The... Some Colors color of the, the wind. wind. Yeah, colors they need to be wind. able to sing Colors of the Wind. That's a great tune. It is. It's a sing great jingle. Right now. Colors of the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he fucking didn't know it, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Secretary of Commerce. Oh, okay. I put... I have a little bit of a, of like a controversial one. But... Uh-oh. All right. I put Keith Sanigato. Oh. No one wants to give away money like Keith Sanagato. Yeah. Nobody. Keith's a very this selfless This might be person. a little inside baseball for you guys, but like Keith is selfless to the point where it's like, you don't need to do that. Yeah. You know, where it'd be like, Keith, uh, you know, like, oh, like, yo, do you have like three bucks? I got like 80. Take it. Yeah. It's like, Keith, I just need. Keith would win $100 million and give away all 98 of it. of it. All of it. I only need, why do I need more do than I need 2 million? Why do I need more than $2 million? Yeah. It's like, well. So, and that's the type of person we need in here. Yeah. Uh, my Secretary of Commerce is Bernie Madoff. Now, before Whoa. before we Whoa. before we get into this, right? I just want to say that uh, clearly the guy was doing something. I mean, he he was knowing what he was doing about monies for a little bit there. That guy was getting away with a lot. A lot when it comes He's to money. He's in jail for like 240 years. I know, but he was. But I'm saying at the time he was like he was handling his money like pretty well at the time. You know oh I mean? yeah, depends like, on by by whose standards you're defining pretty well. I mean, he was robbing families blind and destroying people, destroying but, lives, destroying lives. Yeah. Um, but when he was doing it, he was doing it in dramatic fashion. Oh, quite dramatic. Yeah. That's a- <laughs> yeah. Quite dramatic. I would say so. Jesus Christ. Okay. Transportation secretary or okay. health and human services? Which one? Uh, health and human services. All right. I went with a physical anomaly, a health anomaly. Yeah. It's Charlie Sheen. Oh, yeah. Because how is he still alive? Yeah, he's got AIDS. He's got it all. HIV, he's got, HIV. He's got HIV. He's, uh, got, he's got DAT. D- he does a he lot of DAT. He does a da- lot of DAT. A lot of de cocaine. DAT. And uh, the guy is just not dead yet. Him and fucking like Mick Jagger. Yeah, Mick Jagger. And who's uh, who's the guitarist from the Rolling Stones? Keith Richards. How are they alive? Put them all three in there. I don't know. Um, I put the obvious answer, Jesus. Oh. The guy was healthy, he was in good shape. Uh, and also he's you know, he was he cared about the people, human services. Boom. Oh bang. my god. Also I How got, do I fight against Jesus? You don't. I got Harry Potter and Jesus. Good luck. Good luck <laughs> to you. Oh I got I got the rock and Keith Sanagata. What are you gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> I'll ask Jesus. That's I will fair. confer with him. I don't think Jesus would be good in a political role. He was, I guess, like, he just wanted to, like, unite people. No, yeah, he, I wanted him to do the right thing. We have other people. We got John Hamm. He'll, he'll like, convict you. Also, okay. Sylvester Stallone, he'll do some stuff. John Hamm will also do something else to you. Yeah, yeah, he will. He'll put you back into next week. Secretary of Transportation. <laughs> I put Sully. Who's that? The guy that landed the plane on the Hudson. <laughs> That they? Tom Hanks movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sully Sullenberger, some J- Jeffrey Sullenberger. Those guys just land in planes with like ducks in the wings and shit like that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's kind of cool. If you can do that, I, you should run every department of transportation. I actually have two answers. Okay. Uh, the first one is my old br- bus driver, Jackie. She used to scream. Oh. She used to close the windows. <laughs> she used to say that all the time. Yeah, she uh, and like I'm pretty sure she beat up a kid once. Was this in middle school or high school? This is in middle school. Okay. Um, no, this is a yellow bus. I'm pretty sure she. Oh, beat up cheese a- bus. Yeah, she she beat up a kid once. I think cheese bus Jackie. Yeah, yeah. She threw she threw like a, a school bag at a kid or something like that. <laughs> Big thing, big thing. Can't big do that thing. now. They got cameras in the buses now. Well, also, I don't think she kept her job for too long after that. Yeah, no. But she got to school on time every single time. She was swerving through traffic. So, like, dangerous, but she got the job done. Uh, my other one was going to be, obviously, Sandra Bullock. 
we saw her skills oh. and speed. Well, with I Keanu mean, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves would have made more sense. She drove the bus. Did she? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was him. She had to keep the bus over 50 miles an hour. I thought it was 50. Driving through a city. Yeah. Drove it off of an unfinished highway. Highway. She got, and then she was in. She was. I'm pretty sure she was also in Speed Two. Well, she. Yeah. I, that was the one with the boat. And, I didn't see Speed and too. Willem Dafoe. I, did, I I've seen bits and pieces, but Willem Dafoe, that fucking villain. Yeah, Willem Dafoe looks scary. like scary. Willem Dafoe just looks like a, a skeleton that has the minimal amount of skin you can have. <sighs> like he's always like yeah. he's always hungry. You know what I mean? Like he's Starving. never he's never been stuffed to completion. He looks like in in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies where uh, you know they're like. Like the pirates when they are in moon like moonlight, they like look like they're like half. Yeah, he yeah, looks like yeah. That. He looks like that one that's always missing, losing his eye, mm. and he's a cockney. Yeah. Okay. Secretary of Energy. All right, I got two here because I can't figure it out. All I right. put either Logan Paul or Terry Crews because they got a, a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Like I don't know if it's Dat or if it's just they're just fucking on it all the time. Could be Dis or it could be Dat. Dude, but like they're always just like. Bah, bah, you got a lot going you know, on. It's a lot of energy there. Yeah, yeah. And I assume that's what that person needs to do. I, I went a similar route. I said uh, one of those Peloton instructors. Oh. They're, they're nuts. Those people are screaming at you. It's like, dude, it's 8 a.m. I'm just trying to cycle a little bit so I'm not, like, disgusting. I love how everyone that I've asked about getting a Peloton, they're like, dude, it hurts so bad for the first, like, month. And then it's okay. And it's like, well, hold on. <laughs> It hurts so Why bad. Don't, yeah, because apparently that cycling is intense. Have you ever been to like a spin class or anything? No, I've seen them. It's fucking t- like I went once with my old with Tim and Maggie. I imagine it stinks. And it was fucking violent. This woman loved spin. Like you, like if you didn't like check your feet correctly, you would get fucking backhanded. Damn. But yeah, those spin instructors, they got it. Yeah. Uh, I'm shocked you don't have a Peloton yet. No, I, I you know. Um. All right, uh, Secretary of Education. Oh, I put uh, Jeff Goldblum. He just seems smart, but I have no clue if he is. And that's what education is. <laughs> it's not about being smart. It's about appearing smart. Mm, you know? That's smart. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh. Did he have a show that was like the world through Jeff Goldblum? It's on Disney+. Plus. Have you watched it? No. Dude, it's fucking... The first three episodes made me have to use the bathroom. It was, it was a wild ride. Really? He's like going around and he's like... Hmm, show me. He goes through like ice creams. He hit, he has like fucking like pig blood ice cream. He's like, oh yes, oh. Uh. <laughs> this guy's always fucking horny, dude. This guy's so horny. That's hilarious. Um, I put Jane from third grade. Oh yeah, this girl that we don't say her last name. No, I no, won't. no, no, I won't. no. This girl we went to third grade with was the smartest girl who's ever lived. Yeah, but also like she knew script before we even learned it in school. How she the was, fuck it, did she know? Didn't that? you say she wrote you a love letter in script and you had no idea what to say? No, I've told this story before, but I, I liked her. I had a big crush on her, and I told her that I liked her, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Do you like me?" And she wrote on the desk, "Yes" in script, but it just looks like that. <laughs> And like I don't, I didn't learn script. This was first grade. I didn't learn script till third grade. So she or cursive, whatever the fuck you fucking potato out potato. There. Um. So she wrote yes on the table, but I didn't know that. So she was just doing all kinds of shit, and I was like, what? And she wrote it again. I was like, I don't. And she wrote it again. And I was like, I guess not. And I was like, all right. <laughs> Oh, that this bitch was drawing a I fucking remember, roller coaster. I remember we used to have this like book system, this like colors, like it was like a book system, and each book was a different color. It was like green. It was like it got up to like the hardest was like brown and black and like platinum. Yeah, and I remember I was on like a fucking like cute like green. Yeah, and like this girl was just crushing out like fucking like shit browns, yeah, like, like olive greens. And I was shit on like, like that. periwinkle, and she's fucking like, oh, you guys aren't double platinum. Yeah, this double girl, black platinum. Yeah. I was like, what? everyone Jesus. knows one of the, and she was also fucking great at tennis. Yeah, she was a tennis player. This girl was a crushing tennis player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and also, we have the last one is uh, the United States trade representative. Yes, who would be good with trade reps? Right. I put uh, Howie Mandel. Deal or deal no, no deal. deal. Those are good deals. This guy's making great deals. He's making great deals. If you see, and he's like, oh, ah, the banker just called. Yeah. Do you think anyone could talk on the other side of that phone? I don't think so. I don't think so. The banker just called. Yeah, okay. Can we get an iPhone, want, by the way? What is this landline they, they use? They want to offer you eight years of federal trade <laughs> for $48 trillion. Yeah. Deal or no deal. Yeah. <laughs> 
This guy can make anything sound awesome. Yeah, that did sound you know? cool. And I'm just taking that deal. Just don't too. touch him because apparently he had like debilitating OCD at a point in his life. And I don't no, know. he's a, he's a germaphobe. He was like an intense germaphobe. Yeah, That's I think crazy. he's better now. Like I see people in America's Got Talent like hugging him and shit, and he's like cool. But yeah. like back in the day, it was like don't touch Howie Mandel. Yeah, he's chill. He don't... Which I mean, I wouldn't touch him to begin with. I mean, I touch him. You give him what? You give him a little rub. A little, a little. How you doing? Yeah, pick him up. If you're a germaphobe, how do you get like jerked off? Oh, I mean, you wash, you have to wash your hands. Yeah, I guess so. Or him. Who do you got for the trade rep? Uh, I have Alan Wang. Oh, <laughs> who is? Uh, if you don't remember, that's the kid who I traded Pokemon cards yep. with, and uh, I traded him. He found fifty dollars on the way to school, and uh, I traded him a Charizard for that. You fucked up. And um, is that Charizard. It's worth about like thirty thousand dollars now. Yeah, so he gave me fifty dollars. I gave him the Charizard. I got home. My mom's like, "What the fuck do you have fifty dollars for? Give it back to him. That's his school. That's his lunch money." But this, I was like, "Ma, he found it on the floor on the way to school." And she's like, "Bullshit." So I had to give him the fifty dollars back, and he kept the Charizard. That's a good trade for him. <laughs> so I'm like, "He's a trade guy. <laughs> Smart kid. Send this kid." Send him. This kid knows what he's doing. He's he's also, out there scheming. Just a good trade in general. He was a visionary. He was thinking. He's like, yo, listen, a charge right now is what like twenty grand, right? Yeah. So he's he 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 made that deal. He knew he made twenty grand on. and fifty dollars. Exactly. Twenty thousand fifty dollars he made. And off I of made that card. nothing. You, you I got punished. You walked away. <laughs> <laughs> you walked away with a fucking a matted like slap on your ass. That's what it was. So yeah. like uh, you know, I, that's why I put Alan. I Wayne. think my cabinet would be better if I'm being honest. Well, that's your opinion. We'll let the people decide. All right, vote. Put out a poll with this. Who's got the better cabinet? And just remember, I've got Jesus. Oh. <laughs> so already I got all the Christians. I got Keith. I don't know if any Christians watch the show. You think so? Uh, I there's think they... definitely a couple religious. Someone said from recently, they were like, oh, we're watching in Scandinavia. I was like, great. That was a Canadian accent. And tomato. Tomato. It's the same thing. Gotcha. Uh, I got Keith Sandigato. So who are your heavy hitters? Because I got The Rock and Keith. I got Jesus Harry Potter. Mm. Bernie Madoff takes it down. A yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but, I, but then I have Alan Wang. Alan Wang. Where Alan is Wang. Alan? Let's get Alan on the I show. I don't know, but I've said his name over the years numero yeah, times. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. I'm pretty sure like we talk about people from elementary school that have no clue we still exist. Probably. Yeah. Well, they know you exist because, you know, a couple multi-millions over there. Here we go. But me? <laughs> They're like, oh, I wonder whatever happened to that fucking dumpster rat that wore the same shirt three days in a row. <laughs> I was like, well, here I am. Here I am, guys. Um, but yeah. That was good. That's all I got. So uh, we're going to let the people decide. Guys, comment below who you think is the, who's got the better cabinet. If it's, I mean, I understand that Joey's better looking and more popular, but like, <laughs> think with your head. He also has a forearm tattoo. It's Roman numerals, too. Do you, do you trust that? <laughs> do you trust that? Also, let's not forget earlier in the, you know, before we got to the presidential talk. We did find out that Frankie is spending $150 on old McDonald's toys. Those are so, collectibles. They get value. They, 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 it's an investment, Joey. Saying, if that's it's an investment. Want, what have you invested if, in? If that's what you want to run your country. So I just. You know who wouldn't be Department of Labor? The person that exploits their fucking employees. Josh, give me, give me the phone. No. Okay. Where can they find your phone? <laughs> F. Alvarez8085 on Twitter and on Twitch. Uh, I usually stream playing video games Mondays and Tuesdays. It's been a little tough. Moved into a new house. Mm. Haven't gotten everything set up yet. But uh, And then the Frank Alvarez on Instagram. And also, uh, by the time this comes out, I might have been drafted for the Schmodown when is movie that? trivia. The, the draft is on Friday the 29th. Oy. So if I get drafted and I'm in... It's going to be a fucking great... But either way, go watch them. If you like movie trivia and with like a flair of WWE, it's fucking awesome. Go go watch it. Go check it out. Uh, you guys can go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And our patrons, uh, we appreciate you guys. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. You get an episode, an, uh, an extra episode every single week on Friday. And you get every episode a week in advance. Uh, we appreciate all you guys. And uh, yeah, that is all. See you guys next time.